Hey there, friends. We are going to continue on with our learning about different types of sentences. The sentence we're going to learn about today is a sentence called imperative. Can you say that? Imperative. One more time. Imperative. That's a long word. It's a hard word to say. Don't worry about if you can't say it right. Right now, you'll have plenty of time to practice that. And anyway, the most important thing is, not that you can say it correctly, but that when you hear the word imperative, you know what this means. An imperative type of sentence is also what's called a command. It tells someone what to do. You're telling someone to do something, okay? An example would be, shut the light off. You're telling someone to go shut the light off. Another example would be, come over here. If you're saying, come over here, you're telling someone to do that. So anytime that you are writing a sentence that commands and tells someone what to do, it's called an imperative sentence. <clears throat> the, the word imperative is, means something that must happen. So if you can also think of it that way, is if you are t saying to someone an imperative sentence, they have to do it. You're telling them, you're commanding them, you're telling them to do it, okay? Anytime that you write these types of sentences, the imperative sentences, you need to make sure that you use the correct end mark. The correct end mark for an imperative or uh, command sentence is a period, okay? Your job today in writing is to write your own imperative sentence. It could be about anything, as long as it is an imperative sentence, as long as it commands or it tells someone what to do, okay? You're going to write it, and then you're going to illustrate it, and that is your writing assignment for today.